In today's video, we are going to look at the top 3 ways, on how to choose comfortable walking shoes. Let's get right into it. Method 1. Looking for important features. Tip number 1. Support your heel with a snug heel counter. This area of the shoe should comfortably cup the back of your heel. If the heel counter fits correctly, then it can help keep your feet from pronating or supinating when you walk. Make sure that it feels nice and snug but not too tight. Tip number 2. Look for a shoe with slight roominess in the toe box. The toe box is the part of the shoe that surrounds your toes. It's important that this part of the shoe allows your toes to wiggle and bend freely. However, too much space can cause excessive shifting and ultimately, discomfort. Tip number 3. Look for outsoles with good traction. The part of your shoes that make contact with the ground are called the outsoles. Inspect this under part of the shoe to be sure that there are grooves. These will help create traction when you walk, which can prevent you from slipping and falling. Tip number 4. Make sure the midsoles are made of a cushioning material. Midsoles are arguably the most important part of the shoe. This is the area of the shoe between the upper part of the shoe and the tread. Feel the midsoles with your hand to assess their softness and resiliency. Tip number 5. Ensure good shock absorption with quality insoles. The soles of your feet should feel well cushioned in your walking shoes. It's crucial that your insoles shape well to your foot and are supportive because their job is to absorb the impact that your foot has on the shoe. Tip number 6. Assess each shoe's breathability. When you're walking and getting your heart rate up, your feet may sweat a little. Make sure to get a shoe that has a breathable membrane and also always wear breathable socks when you're walking. Method 2. Trying on shoes. Tip number 1. Try the shoes on at the end of the day. Everyone's ankles and feet swell at least some over the course of the day, so it's better to try on shoes in the late afternoon or evening than in the morning. Tip number 2. Bring a pair of your own socks. In order to get a true idea of how a shoe fits, you'll need to try it on with whatever kind of sock you usually wear, whether that means high, low, thick, or thin socks. Tip number 3. Measure your feet. Each time you go shoe shopping, you should measure your feet. The size of your feet can change slightly over time. Either measure your feet yourself with the shoe size or that's in the store or have a friend, family member, or store employee help you. Tip number 4. Do the wiggle test. When you put a pair of shoes on, wiggle your toes and see if you have enough space in them. You should have at least half an inch of room between the tip of your longest toe and the front wall of the toe box. Tip number 5. Walk around the store in the shoes. Once you've found shoes that are really feeling comfortable and supportive, take a walk around the store in them. Walking is primarily what you'll be doing in the shoes, so it's important to test out how they feel when you add in the movement factor. Method 3. Finding a good fit. Tip number 1. Make sure the width and length are both right. Calluses and blisters can form as a result of wearing a shoe that's too narrow or wide. Wearing a shoe that's too short can crowd your toes, which is especially painful and problematic if you have any deformities or disorders, such as bunions or hammer toes. Tip number 2. Prioritize good motion control if you have low arches. Many who have flatter feet deal with problems involving muscle and joint stress. If you have significantly low arches, focus on finding a shoe with good motion control so that your feet can be better stabilized. Tip number 3. Get a shoe with good cushioning if you have high arches. High arches put a lot of strain on muscles and joints because they don't absorb shock as well. Look for a shoe that has a generous amount of cushioning if you have a higher arch in order to improve shock absorption. Tip number 4. Look for firm midsoles if you have a neutral arch. In addition to straight or semi-curved lasts and moderate rear foot stability, neutral feet are best supported by firm midsoles. Make sure that your shoes have these features if you don't think your foot falls under either arch type. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments, or questions, please leave it on a comment section below. For more information, please check out the links in the description.